Are you serious? Are you serious, folks? I'm, uh, wow. I just got back from uh, End Time Ministries headquarters where I've spent uh, a lot of time with Irvin Baxter. What a man of God he is, a powerful man of God, and a powerful ministry he certainly has, leading people to the Lord Jesus Christ and, and literally breaking down these end times. Uh, we had a great conversation at dinner last night and lunch today, and then I was just on his show uh, live on the internet, uh, on radio and internet and everywhere else. You can see the archives of that at his website at End Times Ministries. Uh, I will put the link in the description below on this video. Watch the entire one-hour interview of Irvin Baxter interviewing me, talking about Jerusalem, the cup of trembling, President Trump, and Yehuda Glick, and everything going on with the Third Temple, and Jerusalem, and the New World Order, and you just got to watch it, okay? It was a prophetic moment for sure. Now, uh, right now, the stock market, of course, today, closing at 724 points down. U.S. stocks fell sharply today uh, as President Trump, of course, announces the tariffs on China. U.S. stocks fell sharply, pressured by worries of a potential trade war uh, and a decline in the tech shares. The broader market was also pressured by a decline in bank stocks. The Dow Jones Industrial Average dropped 724 points to close at 23,957 with Caterpillar and 3M and Boeing as the biggest decliners. That's 2.9% decline. It's been the worst day since February 8th. The 30 stock index also briefly entered correction territory for the first time since last month, falling 10% from its 52-week high at one point in late in the day. And the S&P 500 fell also 2.5% down to 2,643, with a seven of the 11 sectors, including the tech and financial sectors dropping more than 2%. Financials was the worst performing sector in the index, plunging 3.7%, its worst day since February 8th, when it dropped 4.5%. So the selling intensified into the close with the Dow Jones losing more than 250 points in the final hour of trading. Earlier, the Trump administration had unveiled its tariffs designed to punish China for its intellectual property theft, imposing about $60 billion in retaliatory charges. Trump caught China stealing our intellectual properties. And folks, uh, you're going to have to go take a look at the Obama administration and ask yourself a lot of questions. How much of it, How did we just leave the doors unlocked so that China could take whatever they wanted from our intellectual properties? properties. Trump caught them. He's not going to let them get away with it. Yes, the, the stock market takes a bad hit because you got a lot of emotional people and a lot of political pundits running around wringing their hands. But at the end of the day, what President Trump just did will strengthen this nation. The market will come back over time and we are sending a clear message to the superpowers of the world that you're not going to take our intellectual property going forward and we're also going to re-strengthen our military, strengthen our steel, our manufacturing base. We cannot give this country away. And that's what he's saying. We're no longer going to feed the global elitist. We're no longer going to feed the new world order. And the equities have been under pressure, of course. Recently, as Trump administration ramped up its protectionist trade agenda, and thank God he is, Earlier this month, the President Donald Trump announced the implementation of the tariffs on steel and aluminum imports, raising concerns about the potential trade war. There's not going to be anything to this war. There can't be a war. We hold all the cards. So let the pundits get through that. Let the, let the talking heads on your cable television networks do their thing tonight. Let all the little wimps on Wall Street wring their hands at the end of the day. We will reverse the curse, the stealing of our intellectual property and literally uh, tearing down our nation bit by bit. It's not that these people, look, we just let them have it is the honest truth, okay? We just let them have it. So 
Big news on Wall Street. Big time move by the President of the United States. It will correct itself as it should anyway. And the nation will be stronger for it as we go forward. I'll be back with more current world events. Now, listen to me very closely. People are already freaking out saying, is this the black horse of the apocalypse? Is the economy getting ready to collapse? No, no. But China's is getting ready to take a major hit. And some of these companies that had a tough day today have been relying on China. And there's a change now. And they're going to need to focus back on America and American steel and America intellectual property. And, and make sure they know which side they're on, okay? I'll be back with more. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're in the last days. It's going to get intense. Are you ready? Are you saved? Are you serious? What? We're in the last days.